you might be wondering where we are and how we got here. Both great questions. Let's recap. We lost power in the studio, Safety Sam the electrician came and turned the lights back on right when the big idea alarm started going off. We'd never done the secret handshake in the studio. We tried it and bam! Here we are. But where is here? And why is it so dark? I can fix that. Ah! Oh, you guys scared me. I'm Jay. And I'm Emma. Welcome to Press Play. And who might you be? Oh, me? <laughs> I'm Francesca, the server. I wait tables. Oh, are we at a restaurant? Oh. Are you at a restaurant? <laughs> Only the most renowned dining facility in all of Jerusalem, the Upper Room. Okay, sounds fancy. <laughs> yeah, what's your specialty? Uh, yes, our specialty, um, of course, is uh, uh, bread. Uh, yes, bread is our specialty. Bread? bread? Okay, okay, we're not really renowned. I don't even know what renowned means. We weren't even in a dining facility until tonight. Well, what do you mean? Well, would you two like me to find you a table so I could tell you all about it? Um, sure. Um, let me see. Ah, you are in luck. We happen to have a table available. Looks like there only is one table. Well, we'll take it. Okay. Fabulous. This way. I'm starving. Can we help you clear the table off? Oh, sorry. We don't have a bus person. Just me. Ah, it's cool. Did they leave anything good behind for us to munch on? Oh. Jay, gross. Their leftovers will actually help me tell the story. It was like I was living out a Bible story. And if I was that Bible story, I would be from Mark chapter 14. <laughs> anyway, I was having the worst day. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> Been there. Really? The floorboards are thin on one side of your bed too? So if you try to stand on them, you fall right through? Uh no, I, I haven't been there. It's not the same. Anyway, when I got to work, I saw that we were hosting a dinner party for a rabbi or a teacher named Jesus and his friends. I led them up to a room, this room, and it was all ready to go. Not sure how. Wow, weird. You're telling me. So, I started lighting the candles. Here, Jay, you sit here. You will play Judas. And you, you sit right here, because this is where Jesus sat. There was this dude named Peter. He sat over there. <laughs> Man, he was an eater, more like a scarfer. And then there was John. He was younger, seemed annoyed with Peter scarfing. <laughs> Don't blame him. <laughs> when I got to the middle of the table, I lit the candle in front of Jesus. and it burned higher and brighter than any other. But then something weird happened, okay? It was so weird. The guy next to Jesus, you, you, named Judas where you're sitting, okay? I tried to light his candle in front of him, but it didn't work. He seemed nervous. Then I overheard Jesus said in Mark 14, 18, truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. One who is eating with me. That's what he said. That's what he said. Heavy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and awkward. And I couldn't get that dumb candle lit so I could get out of there. Finally, I just gave up. And it was just dark all around Judas. All of Jesus' friends started asking questions. But Judas, the dude was sweating. I mean, sweating. Dripping from the chair, yeah. sweating. Yeah. This chair? Mm -hmm. The one you're sitting on right now, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe Jesus couldn't see it because of all the darkness around Judas, but he continued anyway. He got all of their attention and took a piece of bread. He broke it and called it his body, broken for them. Then he took the wine and he poured it out and called it his blood, poured it out for them. 
As he spoke, the candle in front of him got brighter. It got so bright, I thought it might light Judas's candle. Didn't he know that it was Judas? <laughs> Judas was the one who was gonna betray him. He was sweating like the Mountain Dew bottles I leave on my grandma's coffee table. And let me tell you, she doesn't like that. But she still loves you, right? Yeah, for sure. See, that's when I realized I watched Jesus' candle getting brighter. Judas sweating in the darkness. I thought about my bad day, all the bad days I've had, the bad days we have, mistakes we make. Jesus knew he would soon be betrayed by Judas, someone he loved very much, but he focused on spreading light. Jesus gave him a way to remember when he would no longer be with them. He knew he would have to go through a very dark time very soon, but no matter how dark things would get, Jesus is the light in the darkness. Whoa. Oh, well. We have to get going, but that story was amazing. I know. I know. Yeah, thanks a lot. Mm-hmm. My pleasure. When Jesus and his friends left, though, I had a feeling that that story was actually just the beginning. Oh, that reminds me. We have no idea where the secret handshake is going to take us. Should we do it anyway? Well, it might be our only way to hear the rest of the story, huh? Okay, let's do it. Join in. Oh! What in the... Dark again? Why always the dark? Shh, Jay. I'm not sure because it's so dark, but I think we're in a courtroom. Friends, let's recap. We didn't press play, but we still met Francesca, the server. She told us about the table she just waited on, which was Jesus and his friends. It was obvious that Judas was the one who was going to betray him. Judas was not making good decisions, and darkness was all around him. But Jesus still shared a meal with him, and it was clear that no matter how dark things get for any of us, Jesus is the light in the darkness. Is there darkness in your life where Jesus can shine his light? We'll see you next time. For now, it's time to drop the verse. Let's drop the verse. Oh, what time is it? <laughs> time to drop the verse, Jay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? Psalm 27 1. Psalm 27 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? Psalm 27 1. Hey! Psalm 27 1. Hey! The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? Psalm 27 1. Hey! Psalm 27 1. Hey!